Okay. Don't make it annoying. It, okay, that's pretty bad. Alright. There we go. Got it. Alright, let's do this. It's a pretty good group for this boss. We'll see how it will go. Here we are. A seething sigh. We're here to perform lung surgery. Yeah, how's it hanging? Uh, okay, so I need to do 20 damage to this thing uh, to prevent a bigger breath. Ancora does have a free turn cooldown, so it might be a good idea to start using it as early as possible to start the cooldown. This will also give me another buff. Uh, right, so now I could use Ruin with my first action. I already have Bleed on me because of the Jester, and use uh, the Linen to remove the Blind, then use Ruin just to get that damage stacking as early as possible. I need him to do the damage, like that's the idea here. And probably get some resist buffs. Well, I could try to do 20 damage with others. It kind of depends on how much I'll do with incision here. Okay, 13. Uh, that might not be enough. Uh, I would need seven more. I might or might not get that. Okay, yep, exactly seven. That's what I needed. Now we can focus on the boss. If it pops up on the back long, I will be ignoring that. I'm only hitting the front one. Yeah, so now I guess I want to hit the boss. I don't have a damage buff, unfortunately, but it's still 12 to 31 damage. And of course it's 12. <laughs> Whatever. Yes, give me the damage buff. Thank you very much. This is still going to be pretty tough, but once I get going with the leper, hopefully we'll do good damage to the boss. 16. That is a little bit disappointing. Here comes the bread. Just don't die on me. Alright, I need to start doing some good damage here. Let's go, people. Okay. Yeah, I really want to hit the boss with the leper because he has the highest damage potential out of anyone here. The command is on cooldown right now. Okay, Plague Doctor is next. So he needs to heal. And probably use Mineral Lich Spring Water. Dragged back from the brink. Here you go. So plus 16, plus 14, and remove the dots. You remove the dots, then the boss will go. This wound, at least, has been tended to. So, remove the blind. Now, normally I would probably heal myself, but I need to do damage. I guess the only problem is that I should probably hit the long here. It's going to be a bit of a waste of damage, though. Like, it's really a waste of damage if I do that. So, this is a tough one. Okay, let's hit the long. because I can't do damage if I'm dead, generally speaking. So now I can heal him, which will also remove uh, the blind. Probably the best time to do that. Okay, let's go with that. Oh yeah, this will be a pretty long fight for sure. Although all I need to do is get lucky with a few good crits. The boss does get, like, multiple actions per turn, so it is pretty tough. 
All right, I kind of want retribution, like, at some point. If I don't use it now, when am I going to use it? Here you go, get that up. Get my block plus immunity up. I'm going to heal myself, I don't want to risk getting killed. And he's about to attack me. All right, so I can try to do the damage to the long with other people, but I might not get 20. It might be hard. Yeah, not really sure about this. This might not be a bad moment to use adrenaline tonic. A little help impeccably timed. I don't think I'll be using incision with the plague doctor on this turn, because that's the option to like do 20 damage to the long. Yeah, this is a bit of a problem, because if I want to hit the boss with the leper to maximize my damage, I'm almost never going to hit the boss, only when he's the back long. When he's the front one, I won't be doing much damage to the boss. And that fight will take a long time. I could use Encore right now, instead of Stress Reduction. So this will give me an extra action for the leper. That's probably the best moment to use it. So and I have 10 to 20 damage. So I might do 20 in one hit or I might do 10 and then not be able to take it down. 14. Yeah, that's a bit disappointing. Now I think I'll have to use Incision if I want to do 20. Or I'll have to use Leper one more time. It's kind of a tough one. Okay, that's enough. So 10 to 28 to the boss. That's the moment to do it. 22, okay, I'll take it. No crit, but 22 is good. All right. Okay, it's in the front again. All right, Jester is dazed. Uh, I kind of need some healing here. I do have a strength buff, so if I do enough damage with incision, a man at arms could handle it himself. I got 29% chance to crit, so it's actually a fairly decent chance to get a crit for over 20. I'm not necessarily counting on that, but it could definitely happen. Uh, nope, 11. Uh, that was extremely disappointing. So far, RNG has not been on my side in this fight. A uh, probably good moment to use Adrenaline Tonic now. Okay, there you go. That was like the minimum damage possible. And it was exactly 20. Okay, let's use Ruin. And I actually resisted the bleed the one single time in this entire run when I didn't want to resist it. <laughs> and I resisted it. Because, you know. And he only has 15 bleed resist. He has 15 bleed resist and I resisted. So that costed me 20% extra damage. <laughs> it's the troll RNG, I'm telling you. Okay, so now I will be focusing on the boss, so let's do some healing. A Baristan will be okay, the Jester might not be okay. So let's help out the Jester. Reduce some stress, I think. And uh, we got the crit buff. So I have 10% chance uh, to get a crit buff when I use Battle Ballad with the Jester, for anyone who wasn't here earlier. Uh, because of the Jester path I got, uh, that gives him a guaranteed second buff with Battle Ballad, with 10% chance for crit, 20% chance for dodge plus, 35 for strength, and 35 for block. So I hit the 10% there on the Leper. That's pretty much exactly what I wanted, and I have some Ruin up. And for anyone who wasn't here earlier, again, uh, with block up, I will actually get guaranteed 100% damage reduction on the man at arms. Because uh, he gets minus 25% damage taken from a footman's grog. Uh, stone mount converts block to block plus, And then 25 is additive with 75 and he gets 100% damage reduction. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. 58 guaranteed crit. 
This is the kind of damage I needed. Now unfortunately I will take the big bread from the boss. But this is the kind of damage I was waiting for. There you go. Here comes the bread. Okay. Everyone is still above zero. The Jester is at one out of 41. Okay, okay. This is looking good. We are still nowhere close to the end. I could still easily lose. Like, very easily. Now, I could let Baristan drop to zero on purpose because I have upgraded strategic withdrawal which will heal him for 33% when he's at death's door and he does have 90 death blow resist but I would prefer to not do it while he has uh, dots on him because the dots can kill him sure it's only 10% chance but it's 10% chance to basically lose this run instantly you know yeah retribution it will still do some damage on the boss uh, from repost so, I mean, it's not a lot of damage, but it adds up. A block plus, that's kind of a dick move. I don't want to waste battlefield medicine, because that has limited uses. But the Jester is at one health. I kind of want him alive, for obvious reasons. So, let's keep him alive. You can get heals later, calm down. I might give the Leper block plus here that might also give him a bleed but he can handle it better than baristan right now and i will have a chance to give him another buff which might improve his damage okay we got dodge not quite what i was looking for but it'll do <laughs> one health is all he needs yeah you're not wrong Now, this is going to be close, because I might or might not be able to do 20. It's 14 to 37, it's kind of a dice roll, really. On average, I should do 20, but, you know, that's not quite how averages work. 21, good enough. I knew all along I will get that, obviously. I was just keeping up the suspense. I could still easily lose this. I mean, look at my health. It's not exactly brilliant. Okay, now I can use indiscriminate science uh, on Baristan. Let's go with that. This wound at least has been tended to. And Ancore is back. So now I could use that uh, for the leper. I could also use Inspiring Pion right now, which might be a bit better. I think it might be better to use Ancore on the turn when the long is in the front. Because I can't hit this one anyway. There's the Strength buff. Okay. That's a lot of buffs. Uh, now, definitely Retribution. Uh, Bolster is an option. But... I will get hit by a big bread. Again, kind of a tough one. It will get harder once I lose my relationships. Especially once like someone gets a meltdown. It will get a lot harder. And I will get a block on myself when I use bolster. So let's go with the bolster. That still gives me block plus for one attack. Six crit, okay. Uh, okay, so there's the strength buff. That's 18 to 48 damage. It's a pretty crazy damage spread. And on top of that, 11% chance to crit. 21. Could have been better, I'm not gonna lie. Alright. Uh, that's not so great. So now there's a chance the Plague Doctor will die. He does have 90 death blow resist. Yeah, he will actually have a... 10% chance to die instantly right here. I can't heal him before it's his turn to act. So it's a 10% chance to lose right here. Uh, yeah, deep breath. I guess this is the moment to use Ancore, probably. I guess if I don't use it now, when am I going to use it? Okay, yeah, this is going to be close. Now, I can remove this blind with my linen here. Which might be a good idea, actually. Well, it doesn't matter if I use Retribution. 
15 to 40 damage. Come on, do more than 20, dummy. Okay, I did 40 to the lung when I wanted 40 to the boss earlier, but at least it was more than 20, okay? I'm not complaining. So Plague Doctor next. I will be really mad if he hits this 10% chance to die here. Like, I will actually be mad if that happens. Please don't die, I need you alive. Don't even friggin' dare. Come on. Okay, he's fine. I mean, if this counts as fine. <laughs> he's not that kind of fine, okay? Anything that's not dead counts as fine in this game. So, right, plus 19. That's the obvious move. It's the only move possible. There you go. We are about halfway done, but this was the easy half, basically. Three actions per turn from this boss kind of hurt. Okay, I did get moved. Uh, that's not great. Not happy about that part. Okay. So now the Jester, at least he doesn't have uh, any dots on him. I'm about to hit 10 stress, probably like on this turn, if I had to guess. Yes, yeah, so I guess I might as well use Bolster right now. It's really the only thing that makes sense. That will give me block plus. Okay, yeah, that's going to be close. That was very close on the Jester. He also has days. Now I have to heal the Jester, but I can't because uh, my Plague Doctor got moved. So obviously not thrilled about that. Probably best to hit the long. To guarantee taking it down. Yeah, I'm probably going to lose this one. Unless I get really lucky. It was a good attempt, though. Uh, let's see. Who knows? Maybe I will still get lucky. It's possible. Okay, yep. Yeah. See? 19. That wouldn't have been enough uh, if I didn't use an extra attack. So there's a good chance somebody will die from this bread. I mean, I just expect that to happen at this point. So... I can't heal myself with the Jester here. I can move Baristan. Yeah, where's the Vestal when I need her? So here it comes. No, I'm still alive, but I have a bunch of dots and almost everyone is at zero and he still gets a turn. Uh, no, not yet. Uh, I guess Retribution. I totally expect someone to die soon. I already got pretty lucky with all the checks. Okay, nice free crit. So, does it get easier if you destroy the long? Because I'm pretty damn close to doing that. Hmm, well, I might as well use Inspiring Tune. There you go. The extra bleeds from his hero path are definitely not making this easy. You see, I kind of really need to heal myself right now, but... Uh, the friggin' long, man. I need to hit the long. Like, really. This kind of sucks. I have to hit the long. There. So I destroyed that one. Please don't die. Okay, I'm still alive. But the uh, leper is almost dead. So do I heal myself? Do I heal the leper? They both have 90 dead bro resist. No, he has 88. They have 88. Let's heal the leper. Nice, a crit heal. Okay. Oh, shut up. Yes, I chose them. They're the ones doing damage. Everyone is still alive. Surprisingly. Honestly, I'm actually surprised everyone is still alive. Okay, so now I don't really have a choice. I have to rush the boss down if you can rush this kind of thing down. So this is it. There is comfort in company. It would be hilarious if the leopard soloed the boss. It's technically possible. Okay, one person dead. That's the jester. I can probably still do it with the, without the jester, but I'll need to get at least a little bit lucky here. It might still happen. 
but I cannot heal from this position until I get indiscriminate science back. I can remove the block, uh, one stack of block. Might be best to move myself, even though, like, it's not the kind of option I'm super happy with. I probably break his block first. That will still do decent... Yeah, this will do more damage than chop, and it will destroy the other stack of block. Here you go, 11 damage too. Okay, still alive. Once Baristan hits zero, he can heal himself with his ability. As long as he doesn't die immediately from the first uh, death blow check. Steady yourself. Okay, I ate a crit to the face. Now I got a combo on me. Yeah, so now he can heal himself uh, with strategic withdrawal. This will move him back. So the unfortunate part is that it will move my Plague Doctor back. But it will heal him for 18. There. It also marked the boss with a combo and it removed the uh, block plus. I still don't... Yeah, okay, he's dead. I don't think I can do this much damage here. 22. He's at 143 now. Uh, technically, it might still happen. It's not over until it's over, all right? I think Retribution will be better. I still have my... Yeah, okay, I still have that. Uh, retribution. Okay. Come on, buddy. All right. I can actually ignore uh, the blind because I have a combo. Okay, good. Uh, he might die from this. Okay, good. So, uh, yeah, there's no need to remove blind. No, he doesn't have the combo anymore. Okay, never mind. I'll just hit him. I mean, I can't heal myself, so there's no point. I already used up Solemnity stacks. 24. Okay. They are still alive. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Oh, no. He'll get three actions in a row. I think that's it. Is that it? This might be it. <laughs> They're trying, alright? They are trying really hard. Wow. How did they not die from that? I'm actually surprised they didn't die from that. 85. Well, I can still use strategic withdrawal. But the leper cannot heal himself, so... As soon as he fails a check, he will die. Like, I can't heal him. I literally can't. Yeah, 10 damage. Uh, that's like the lowest possible damage he could have done. Okay. I was actually so close. With a few lucky crits, I actually could have done it. Probably retribution now, because I'll actually take zero damage, and I'll do some damage to the boss. With a repulse. But I will take zero damage while retribution is up. Technically... It is, like, statistically possible right now. Okay, Leper is dead. It's actually still technically possible for Baristan to solo this. Because he can heal himself from Death's door. And he can reduce his damage taken to zero. So really, the only problem are the dots. Because he can't reduce damage from the dots. If it wasn't for the dots, he could actually, like, avoid all the damage. The boss is at 84. This was definitely a good attempt. Yeah, casino strats. Damn right, casino strats. Isn't this a casino game to begin with? Alright, buddy, you can do it. I believe in you. I just need this burn to go away. He does have, well, 30 burn resist is not that much, I suppose. Yeah, see? Zero. This is actually kind of hilarious, to be honest. If the boss didn't have three actions per turn, I think Baristan could actually realistically solo this on his own. I could actually see it happening. Alright, retribution. The only problem is the burn. Like, that's actually the only real problem. I could actually solo this if this burn didn't exist. Or if I resisted some. I need to resist some, like at least one. Okay, now he needs to not die. 
I mean, he'll probably die, but... Come on, buddy. Yeah, he has nine per turn. Okay, now it's free. There's the heal. And I got block plus. So that's zero damage from the breath. Yeah, like, Baristan is actually Giga Chad with this build against this boss. Uh, right, so Retribution, obviously. That's the whole strategy. Spam Retribution uh, and the Strategic Withdrawal. Like, that's it. Maybe I'll get lucky with some crits with Repulse. That's possible. Okay, six damage. Six damage. No, it's not pointless. You can do it, buddy. I believe in you. You can do it. Okay, only one more uh, burn here. Don't die from that. You made it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Two more attacks from the boss. Oh, no. Holy crap, he's still alive. This was so close. 56 health on the boss. Really, if I had one or two lucky crits with the leper, the boss would have been dead right now, just straight up. The boss would have been dead right now. Self-reliance is a rare and wonderful thing. For yeah, he didn't hear no bell. Definitely. Yeah, he'll probably die because his dead blow resist will keep dropping. It's at 75 now. But if he can resist a few burns, he will not drop to zero. Too fast. You're fine, buddy. You can do it. Okay, six health. Man, it's so close, damn it. I needed one more crit from the leper. Unfortunately, he only gets two stacks of block, so he will get hit by like one attack. Like this one. Uh, he has no, uh, no dot on him right now. Yeah, but he will get attacked more. So like one of these will probably fail. He only has 25 now. So that's 25% chance to die per attack. He's somehow still alive. Okay, burn. This is actually hilarious. Come on, buddy. Would be nice to get a crit heal. I have 15% chance to get a crit heal. No. I was actually kind of hoping that will happen since I used this quite a few times now. Look at how close this is. It's actually hilarious how close this is. See, literally one more attack from the leper would have done it. I actually believe in you. Watch this, like, watch me die when the boss is at uh, zero health uh, at the death door. Because the boss has 50 uh, death blow resist. It won't die instantly when it drops to zero. You can't get knocked back if you're the only one on the field. Damn right. 1,000 IQ strategies. Come on, buddy. Okay, now he has three more turns of that. And now he's still above zero. You know what would be also amazing on this? Uh, there was some trinket that like healed you for two uh, when various conditions were met. I don't remember the exact details. Eighteen health on the boss. Seriously, like a few better rolls. We almost made it. We almost made it. One more lucky hit with the leper, and I would have made it. It was very close. Fs in the chat for Baristan the Giga Chad. I love that combo on Baristan though. That was a hilarious combo. If I get a chance to use that again, I will use that again. But I actually like this fight. Doesn't matter that I lost. I like this fight uh, because it's just a better fight than Act 1 boss. Uh, that was a great way to end the stream. Uh, I definitely enjoyed that last fight, even though I didn't win. And that's the difference between this boss and the previous boss. Uh, so yeah, again, thanks for coming everyone. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.